Loki and Clement won Game 5 of EU FNCS Heat 1, and I would argue it was one of the closest to perfect games I have ever watched in my life. Let's break down this game from its beginning. Floki and Clement landed at Rocky Reels in Game 5 and were contested by Zragi and Kovacs. Floki and Clement landed at the billboard and were quickly able to control the majority of Rocky through quickly looting and taking a creative split that gave them a massive loot advantage over Zragi and Kovacs. This caused Zragi to disengage and Floki and Clement rotated down to the Butter Barn and Gas Station where they farmed their materials up to 555 as well as buying a launch pad from the MPC here. Floki and Clement quickly rotated back to Rocky and positioned themselves on the billboard and the North Rocky house to find Storm Surge. When the third zone revealed, Floki and Clement both based on the North Rocky house and refarmed their material. Clement then used the extra mats to tarp towards the center of the zone and away from Rocky Reels. This play allows them to be the first team to rotate into the fourth zone because they don't have to worry about other teams shooting them from all angles and they only have to block their backside. Going into the end game, it is clear that Clement and Floki cannot get into the top five out of consistency so this game must be one for them. Floki and Clement pad into the 50-50 and DKS lands on them, giving Floki a free kill. On first moving, Floki and Clement are unable to find a launch pad and decide to run the zone. Floki and Clement masterfully hold the right side of the first moving on low ground, and as soon as they see too much congestion on the low ground, they immediately jump up into the mid ground. Floki then finds a masterful kill onto Dan, and I really like this kill because Floki let the tarp do the work for him. Floki didn't do some crazy dumb edit. He just used his smart pre-fires and the pressure of the zone to pick up this kill. Many times I see players just make the most dumb plays to try and force a kill and Floki did a great job here of not doing that. Clement then leads his team up the far left edge of second moving and notice two things here. One, notice how there are zero tiles between Clement and the edge of zone. And two, notice how there is less than one tile between Floki and Clement. This spacing is crucial for doing well in any team game mode. Clement then takes the low ground on the second moving on this left edge and continues to leave zero space between his tarp and the edge of zone. Towards the end of second moving, we see this team make one mistake and that is that they missed a free opportunity to retake low ground as the terrain went down revealing new layers for teams to claim. This was genuinely the only mistake that this team made in this game. But Floki and Clement remedied this play by immediately pressuring low ground as soon as they hear low ground fighting. This reclaims them the low ground going into third moving. But as third moving pulls, Floki and Clement end up leaving the low ground? Well, this was because the way the third moving played meant that Floki and Clement would have to break through a lot of enemy builds, and they knew there were already players present in these builds, so Floki and Clement decided to play the second low ground. Clement again plays the right edge of third moving, once again leaving zero tiles between his tarps and the zone. And Clement continues to push himself more right as the zone opens in that direction. Luckily for Clement and Floki, the terrain ended up pulling up towards second low ground, allowing Floki and Clement to retake the low ground. This is a scenario that ends up happening a lot, so if you feel like you can't hold the ultimate low from your current position, then just go up to second low, and oftentimes low ground will come back to you. Floki and Clement get into the final moving and pull it. Floki and Clement play almost perfect on the front side and pick up a few kills due to their perfect less than one tile spacing. Clement and Floki are in a 2v2v1 against Floist and Mappy as well as Lou on the midground. Floist and Mappy easily kill the solo Lou, but Clement and Floki are able to capitalize on this very small timing, forcing a fight onto Floist and Mappy as soon as they drop onto Lou's Lou. This allows Floki and Clement to get a huge jump onto Floist and Mappy, and they are able to quickly isolate a 2v1 onto Floist before Mappy dies into the zone, giving Floki and Clement an automatic qualification into the FNCS Grand Finals. This was genuinely one of the best games of Fortnite I have ever watched, from their textbook edge zone play tarps to their near perfect spacing to Clement's beautiful layering and I hope you guys learned something new from this video or found it interesting and if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe peace